What's going on Raider Nation? Uh, as most of you know, the preseason starts tomorrow or today if you're watching this video uh, today, uh, Thursday, August 11th. You know, I'm just going to make a brief preseason update. Uh, you know, those of you know, I'm not going to make any preseason game videos like after the game and talking. These are some things to watch. Uh, I encourage, uh, let me know what you think of the roster and what you think of the situations, but first things first, the Raiders uh, signed Kevin Boss, which was huge. Uh, may not be huge to some of people, but uh, it filled our void at tight end, as we know Zach Miller left for Seattle. More money, I think we were over the cap, so it's whatever at that point. But Zach, Zach Miller gone, enter Kevin Boss. I like the signing because Kevin Boss is a much better blocker or something that you know, we do need blockers. That's That's been an issue, as you know. The offensive line will be what makes or breaks this team. I, and all pretty much putting it all in perspective. But here are a few things I, I will probably be paying attention to during the preseason games. And, you know, if you want to post, you can post on, keep posting on this video. So, just to get at least some uh, <laughs> feedback. Cause I won't be making games during the preseason. Sorry, I won't be making videos during the preseason games. So... First things first, some of the battles. Kyle Bowler versus Trent Edwards at quarterback behind Jason Campbell. Uh, you know, it's a Cal versus Stanford battle. Uh, I've called me a Pac-10, now Pac-12 homer, but I actually liked Trent Edwards a year ago. I wanted us to get him as a backup. Saw a lot of potential in him, even though uh, he didn't work out well in Buffalo. So I would love to see Trent Edwards win that battle. Just me a homer, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> Running back is pretty solidified, as most of us know. I don't expect to see anyone, any of those undrafted guys make the roster. Taiwan Jones should be at least on the practice squad at minimal if we're only going to keep two. A wide receiver battle will be very interesting. You know, Chaz Shillings, I expect him to be healthy. But from what I've been hearing, Denarius Moore is working his way up the depth chart. And it would be interesting if he's everything that we wanted from Johnny Lee Higgins. Uh... Obviously, Higgins became very expendable after that hit against San Diego. Denarius Moore. Let's look for that name because uh, I know that's, that was our fifth-round draft pick. Uh, it would be interesting if he emerges the way Jacoby Ford did last year. Uh, so I look look for that guy mainly in other wide receivers. Ford, uh, Shellens, Murphy should all still be there. Even Hayward Bay. We'll see, see what happens. Uh, tight end, I already mentioned Kevin Boss, but... From what I've been also hearing, David Osbury, the USC Trojan, has been uh, at least emerging. I think he might beat out Richard Gordon and Brandon Myers. Uh, one thing we do know is you can't really keep four tight ends on your roster. you got to cut one of them. So, uh, Not sure who's going to be making it, but sounds like Richard Gordon might be the dude to get cut while Osbury and Myers would stay. Uh, Myers has been good on special teams, but wouldn't be surprised if he gets cut. But Look for the name Osbury. Uh, the offensive line, lots of battles there, uh, specifically at center. you got Samson Satelli, and then, of course, you have uh, Stefan Wisniewski, as we all know, our draft pick. Who will win the starting job there? Uh, I don't know. It's obviously, we'll see what's up, what happens there. That's what I'll be watching these preseason games, is to look at the line and see who's good and not. But uh, Wisniewski, it would be interesting if he wins. Uh, he would be raw. He definitely would be... Uh, Still learning, but it would be interesting if he makes hits that impacts. Of course, you still have, uh, you have Valdir at left tackle. You got Loper. Still have an old Cooper Carlisle and then Cliff Barnes. Maybe down the road, Joseph Barksdale, Bruce Campbell will come in after a little bit more development. Now on the defensive side, the front seven is pretty locked. Uh, as we all know that Houston, Lamar Houston should have a very breakout season. I, I expect he might be the most valuable draft pick from our class of uh, 2010, uh, more than McLean almost. Uh, Houston's going to merge big time. You get, still have Seymour, you got Kelly, you still have uh, Shaughnessy. That line will be good. Uh, linebacker Quentin Groves uh, might be the only weak, the weakest of the linebackers. Of course, McLean and Wembley will be solid as well. Happy that Cameron Wembley uh, restructured his contract to make it easier on us. I'm expecting some Rolando McLean emergence as well. I can't wait to watch him a little bit more. On the back on the depth chart, you still have Travis uh, Gaithel. Still a few other names that really, as right now, is irrelevant, like Sam Williams, for example. Not too big of a deal to talk. And then lastly, the secondary battles, uh, specifically between Jeremy Ware, Demarcus Van Dyke, and 
Walter McFadden. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see the depth chart there because we're expecting Stanford routed Chris Johnson to be the starters. Those are the two with the most experience. So in the short term, I'm fine with those two. Uh, I know Stanford route so far has been struggling in camp, but that's what camp is for. And then, uh, but those three, the, uh, the, the rookie plus two uh, guys we drafted the year before, one of those two, one of the three should emerge as the uh, nickel nickelback. And uh, it'd be interesting if uh, Van Dyke em emerges from the bunch, being that he's the rookie. I heard that Chimney Chekwa got hurt, so we might not see him this year. And then the safety combination, uh, surprisingly, Michael Huff resigned. I, I thought he was going to be walking because I like Stevie Brown, I like Michael Mitchell, and I have Tyvon Branch. So I thought Huff was very expendable to a point. Uh, honestly, I, I thought he was too inconsistent. But he's on the team, and what can you do? Uh, Stevie Brown should be on the fourth. Hopefully we cut Hiram Eugene. He's definitely not wanted as much. So uh, there you have it, guys, some of those preseason pre battles. It'll be very interesting to watch that. Uh, as you know, I'm not putting a whole lot of stock in the wins and losses for, for the preseason. I mean, it's preseason. You just get to try out your guys and see who's good and who will get cut. Uh, let me know what you think if there's guys that you like or, or don't like and hope to see get cut. You know, I'll, I'll still be responding to your comments, hopefully. Hopefully I don't get a... Uh, I know I'll get a lot of overwhelming feedback from you guys, so I'm thankful. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, once the preseason's over, I'll probably make another Raiders video again, barring no uh, big moves or trades or, or injuries. So uh, we'll see what happens from then on. But until then, go Raiders and uh, enjoy the preseason and watch these uh, battles uh, come for see who's going to be starting. We'll see you all later.